ready. Good morning everyone, thank you for joining in with our chair yoga class this morning. Hopefully you have had a great week and we are ready to get going with a nice stretch. This will be a good opportunity for you to chill out, shake off any aches and pains or any stiffness you have in your body and it'll be a little bit of fun as well. So just while we're waiting for all the different classrooms to get ready for our yoga session today, we're going to do a few shout outs because I know there's been lots of talented and hardworking pupils all over the different primary schools in Campus Lang and Rutherglen. So we'll start with Borough Primary School, so Borough can give a little whoop whoop in the classrooms. We've got Mrs Wiggins P7 classroom. Well done to all of the class who raised £500 for their Halloween business last week. That's fab. Well done, guys. And also to Hazifa, who had the highest score in the beep test during PE this week. The beep test is really, really hard, so well done to everyone for taking part in that. And we also have a big congratulations to Alfie, who recently became a big brother. Well done, everyone. And we've got Mr Brown's class in P6. Well done to Elena, Alina, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, for a great performance during football. And to May Lynn for being an excellent goalkeeper in hockey, well done. And to Josh, who demonstrated fair play at all times during sport, which is very important. And all of the Primary 6 class who passed their young sports leaders training well done everyone and big thanks to Josh, your Active Skills Coordinator, who's been putting you through your paces and making you train really, really, really hard. Fab, I like, I like hearing all these sporty stories. Well done everyone. And then we've got Miss Chris 5. Well done to the P5s for their fantastic ti Titanic writing. That sounds very interesting. Well done guys. And well done to Otis and Evan for their fantastic hockey skills in PE. That's super guys. Well done. Moving on, we have got our Burnside classrooms taking part today. We've got Mrs. Steele's room seven. And well done to all of you guys who worked really hard in class and showed excellent listening over the last few weeks. That's very important. Today you're going to have to be good listeners as well because we're going to be doing lots of different yoga poses. And we'll need everyone's ears tuned in so that you don't miss out on any of the poses today and you are able to be nice and quiet and enjoy your yoga session. Okay, we've got Mrs Mitchell's room nine. Well done to room nine for creating some fantastic fireworks pictures this week. Amazing, I hope everyone had a nice evening last night for bonfire night. And then we've got Miss Ian. Miss Ian, room 11. I'm sorry, you can shout at me afterwards. You can send an email and tell me I'm doing this all wrong. Well done to room 11 for their hard work in class over the recent weeks. Well done to all the pupils at Burnside Primary School and thank you for joining us today. From on, we've got Spittle Primary School. Mr Houston's P4 class is taking part today. Well done to the Primary 4-5 at Spittle Primary School who have been fantastic at doing the Daily Mile. In particular, there's a little shout out here for Maisie, Sion, Lacey and Harris. That might be Sean. I might be reading these names completely wrong. Um, well done guys, doing the Daily Mile. Hope more sunshine like today because that would be fab, doing your Daily Mile. Miss Carol's P7, well done to Primary 7 who have been supporting their buddies. Um, you have been doing socially distant and safe games with really races and beanbag throwing to name a few. That's fantastic guys, your buddies will be loving all those games. And well done to all the classes at Spittle who created their own Halloween dances and filmed these. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see these videos. Are they going up on social media? You can tag Active Skills ASL so we all get to see them. And some of the most creative dances were performed by Primary 4 who did Thriller, that's an amazing song, and Primary 4 5 who did the Time Warp. Amazing! We've got lots of dancers today, that's fab. So we are going to move on. Uh, I know James Ayton, you're taking part from home today. Some of the pupils will be taking part from home. Fantastic guys. Hope you enjoy this just as much. And um, we've also got a little shout out from Cares Primary School. Rachel, Kaya and Olivia from Primary 3 attend dance training every Saturday morning. That's fantastic girls. And we also have Aaron, Zach, Sam and Kai in Primary 7 who are excelling at their weekly football training, super. Murren in primary seven 
for her focus and determination at cheerleading. Well done. And Ashley in Mrs. Morton's class for her gymnastics and dance training. Oh my goodness, we have got so many active pupils, sporty pupils taking part in our yoga session this morning. So that's amazing. One thing we can do to make ourselves better at sport or stronger or more flexible is yoga. So whether you're a dancer or a gymnast or a football player or a hockey player, our bodies need that chance to recover. And I know Cristiano Ronaldo, very famous football player, he does yoga. He can do touching his toes and it makes it look super easy. Some people who are taking part today might find that tough. So the more you do yoga, the more all these different things become easier and your body starts to feel better. So another thing, yoga is not just about looking after your body being strong and being flexible. It's also a good way for you to notice and be able to control your feelings and emotions and any little negative thoughts that might come into your head during the week. Yoga is a nice way to calm yourself down and look after your mind as well. So if you feel shy or anxious, you'll feel your shoulders tense up and you maybe cower down. This is a good way for you to think about good posture. If you feel angry sometimes, your hands might clench up and your shoulders might be stiff. So we're trying to relax all that negative energy. And we can do that by doing some stretches and some breathing and having a little bit of fun. So if you're ready, I want everyone to make sure that their chair is roughly one leg's length away from your table. So I don't want anyone to be touching their table. So make sure you've got a safe space. You don't have to get up. You don't have to walk around the classroom. For this whole session, we are going to be safe at our own stations. Now, hopefully everyone has sanitised their hands when they came in from morning break. So this is just going to be a chance for us to calm ourselves down and get ready for the rest of our day ahead. Okay, when you're seated, slightly away from your table, we're not going to be touching anyone either side of us. We are on our own station and we're not going to move from here for the next 20 minutes. You will be asked to stand up sometimes and sit back down, but that's the extent of it. We are ready to go. Okay, I think everyone's tuned in. Can you have a little wiggle on your seat? Make sure the bony bits of your bottom are touching down on your chair. Now, when you're watching TV or maybe on your PlayStation games, everyone tends to sit down like this. But I want you to come to the top of your chair, right at the edge, sit really tall, and for the next 20 minutes, everyone imagines that they have got perfect posture. You are the tallest person in the room, okay? Feet are hip width apart, flat on the floor and your knees point forwards, towards me, towards your table, okay? Just resting your palms on your legs. Just now roll the shoulders back and down. Just go a few more times. Hopefully you guys don't feel stiff. These are much younger and fitter than I am, so you'll be really, really good at all these stretches today, I'm sure. Last one, holding it here. Okay, I want you to now make your hands link the fingers into a little basket and we're just going to place these down on our legs and we're going to do something called balloon breath so if you imagine a balloon when you blow air into it it's going to expand and as you breathe out it's going to sink back down okay that's exactly what we're going to do with our tummies and our chest okay so bring your hands to your tummy to begin with take a big deep breath in and I want you to feel your hands lifting as you fill your tummy up with air. And then as you exhale, blow the air out and feel your hands sink back in to your belly button. Let's do that one more time. Take a big deep breath in. Fill your fingers and exhale, release. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Okay, bring the hands back to the knees. This time, we're going to take our hands high above our heads. Inhale, fill that big balloon up, and exhale, breathe out. Can you make a louder noise when you breathe out? Let's try. Inhale up through your nose, and then breathe it out through your mouth. And again, big deep breath in, and out. One more time, inhale. 
and breathe out this time. Make your balloon even bigger as you breathe your hands down all the way to your legs. Okay, let's get our next movement. So we're going to take our ear down to the shoulder, tuck the chin all the way over the other side. Keep that going. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, we breathe in. Exhale, we breathe out. Now we're still thinking about having good posture. Keep it going. Moving your head from side to side. My head is making me blind, so I'm going to have to get it out of the way. Last three, two, and one. Bring your head all the way back into the middle. Okay, from here, we are going to move on and do a pose that's called cat and cow. So if you imagine you are, you can keep facing me, I'm just facing this way so you can see what I'm doing. When we do inhale, we're going to look to the sky, we're going to open our chest forward and try and make our lower back as scooped as possible. Okay, so this is meant to be our cow pose. Sometimes you do this on the floor, but today, because we're in the classroom, we're doing this on our chairs. We're going to change, we're going to tuck our chin in, tuck our belly buttons in, and fold our bodies round. So you're trying to make yourself as curved as possible. If you imagine that you are an angry cat, Roll your back up. Let's do a few more times. Inhale. Try and pull against your knees and bring yourself all the way forwards. Exhale. Tuck it down. Inhale. Big deep breath in. Look to the sky. Exhale. Look to the floor. And inhale. Come back all the way up to centre. Pull the shoulders back and down. Next one. I really like this one. This is what I do to make me feel really relaxed. You're going to slide your hands all the way down, tuck your chin, and see if you can get your head to your legs. When you get all the way down, let your arms relax, so you can give them a little flop, and let them drop down to the floor. Easy peasy. Okay, from here, I want you to pretend that you're a zombie, and you are slowly coming up. Slow motion, hopefully something dressed up on top of your Halloween. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's do that two more times. So we're going to slide our hands down, tuck your chin, all the way down to the floor. Flop your arms and rest. And then slow motion, we're coming up. Like a zombie, slide your hands up, all the way back up. Then your head comes up last. One more time, slide the hands down the legs, tuck your chin in, flop the hands to the floor. If you can't quite reach the floor, that's okay, you just go as fast as you can. When you're ready, slow motion, soft feet come back up, so keep your back curled, chin squeeze in, all the way up to the top. Roll your shoulders back and down. I'm going to turn my chair to face you guys again. Hopefully you're still facing me. Then we're going to do a big full moon. Inhale, hands come together. Exhale, drop the hands down. Then we're going to do a half moon. So you're going to take your right hand, reach it up, and lean all the way over. Hold on to the side of your chair to heal you. Oh, reach, reach, reach. Try to imagine you're trying to reach something over above your head and then back to centre. Full moon. Deep breath in. Exhale, deep breath out. Taking your left hand up and over. Reach as far as you can. Now we're not trying to touch the floor, we're trying to bend from our waist. Okay? So both bum cheeks should be flat on your chair. We're not lifting it up and falling over. Those who've got a strong six pack will be able to stay nice and safe on your chair. Bring it back up to the top. Let's do that one more time each side. Inhale up. Sit really, 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 really tall. Exhale down. Half moon, reach it over. Try and drop your ear away from your arm so your neck relaxes. Back up tall. Inhale up. Exhale down. When you're ready, reach over half moon. Go as far as you can. And back to the centre. Last one. Well done. Roll your shoulders back and down. Okay, I've got a little challenge for you today. Hands on the sides of your chair. You're going to glue your bum onto your chair so you can't move. We're going to try and lift our legs. So 
right leg first. Boys, inhale, stretch it forward, see if you can get a straight line out from your hip. Hold it for three, two, I feel it in my hip, it's burning. Two, one, and rest it down. Some people find that really easy. I've got old hips, so I am struggling with this. Okay, left leg, ready? If you can, try and get it all the way up straight. Hold it straight, no bend in your knee. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Three, two, one. Rest it down, shake it out. Okay, I bet you are all finding that super easy, so I'm gonna have to make it harder for you. This time, you're gonna have your hands on your chair, and we're gonna push into the chair and lift your bottom. So you're hovering off the floor. So I'll show you that from this angle. You're gonna push into the chair and lift your bum. For those who have got really strong arms, you might be able to lift your feet. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. It doesn't matter if you drop your down, your bum bottom down to have a rest. Give it another go and hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And everyone have a rest. Oh, shake your wrists out, give them a circle. Easy peasy. Can I make it harder again? Is there people who can do a harder level? I think so, okay? I hope everyone is taking part in the classrooms. I know some teachers will be taking part today, which is fantastic. However, if the teachers have got their iPads handy, you might want to grab a few photo of the pupils who are doing the best posing, who are working the hardest, okay? It's not a competition. It's all about what your body is capable of and how you feel doing it, okay? So your teacher, might snap a picture if you are working super, super hard. Okay, hands on the chair again. This is the extreme level, okay? So you can do this one if you manage the last option, which was this. You can now try and stretch one leg out. Oh, it's hard work. Try and hold it for three, two, one. Oh, you can get the leg higher than mine. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh my goodness, you can have a little slump. Da -da 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 -da. Rest your arms. Now I've got really bad posture, so we need to inhale and come back up to sit nice and tall. That's what we're doing when we are yogis. Perfect guys, well done. I'm going to move my chair. We are ready for our next part of, we? Next part of our yoga class. Okay, I'm going to ask you at some point of this little sequence, so a sequence just means a few poses put side by side in a certain order. So it's almost like a little dance routine. It's not dancing, don't worry. This time, you're gonna be asked at some point to stand up and sit down. Now it's really important that you stay at your station. You might be a little bit wobbly, but rather than falling over to the side, I want you to tap a hand down on your desk if you need it. If you're really struggling, you can even go right to the back of your chair and hold on for balance today. Okay, but we are seated right now. <laughs> when you're ready, take a big deep breath in, circle the hands up high. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Head between your legs. Then I want you to inhale and bring your hands up in front. Okay, like a mummy. Okay. Do Hold those arms there, your palms face down to the ceiling, fingers are outstretched. I want you to lift your bottom about two inches off your chair. Two inches, it's roughly five centimetres. Smidging off your chair, hold it, hold it. You should hopefully feel all these muscles in your legs and in your bum there having to work hard to keep you there. And then three, two, one, come all the way up to standing. Well done. From here, bring your hands together into prayer and reach them up above your head. Take your right foot, right foot, this one, and slide it up into tree pose. So tree pose, this foot that's on the floor is going to be the roots of our tree. So it needs to be Spread wide on the floor, we're not um, not just on the ball and we're not just on the heel. The full foot is spread on the floor. 
We've got a big tree trunk coming all the way up to your hip, straight line all the way up through our chest to our hands at the top. Our knee goes out to the side. Well done everyone, hold it tight. Imagine that you're pulling your belly button in and your shoulders, even though we're thinking about really, really, being really, really tall and really strong, we are relaxing the shoulders away from our ears. So we're not tense, we're not angry, we are relaxed. Hold it for another three, two, now don't drop that knee down. I want you to collect the knee with two hands and bring it up whoop, to the front. I am wobbly today, my goodness. Now remember, if you do feel wobbly, you can always put your hand on your desk or use your chair as a little bar to help you. But I really want you to think about trying hard. Roll the shoulders back and down. This is our flamingo, because we are standing on one leg like a flamingo. Squeeze your knee in. Who can get their knee all the way up to their chest? Actually, there's lots of active pupils taking part today, so I'm going to make it even harder. Who can get their nose whoop, to touch their knee? Oh my goodness, I am so wobbly. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And everyone can rest that foot down. Go for a shake. Shake it out. Okay, we're ready to go again. But first, little challenge. I want you to put your hands, cross them over onto your shoulders. 10 second challenge. You are not allowed to touch your chair until I say zero. Okay. Slow motion, start to bend your knees, push your bottom back behind you. Down for 10. You need to keep going down. Nine, eight, seven, six. Don't touch your chair yet. Five, four, oh my goodness, three, two, one, zero. You can have a rest. Shake your arms out. Well done. Okay, we're going to do all that again on our other leg. Take a big deep breath in up high. Exhale, fold it forwards. Tuck your head in between your knees. Inhale, bring your hands up in front like a mummy. When you're ready, push your heels into the floor. Squeeze your bottom and lift off the ground, off the chair, sorry, for five seconds. Now remember, we're just a smidgen off our chair. We're not standing all the way up just yet. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Try and keep your back up straight. Then we're coming all the way up tall. Push into your heels. Lift up high. When you're ready, we're going to do our left foot this time. So take the weight into your right leg. Then we're sliding up into tree pose. Now if tree pose is hard for you, you don't need to have your foot up high. You can have it here instead. And remember, you can always touch your desk or your chair if you need a little help with balance. Okay, we've got one long straight leg and we've got one knee that points out to the side. Keep holding, I can make this harder. Can you tilt like a tree in the wind? You're blowing over. Well done. Bring it back up to the top. Can you say your alphabet whilst you balance like this? Can you make it all the way from A to Z without falling over or putting your foot down? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Keep going. See how far through the alphabet you can get. When you make it to Z, I want you to give your arm a big, sorry, bring your arms down and give your knee a big hug all the way up into our flamingo pose. Now, some people find flamingo easy, so I'm going to give you a harder option. You might want to try a pose called bird of paradise. So rather than being a flamingo here, we're going to reach down and take hold of our foot instead. Bring our hand to our hip and you can try stretching that leg out to the corner. Now that one's much harder. So if you are jumping about and wobbling, I want you to come back to this pose instead. If you're jumping about, it means you're not doing your yoga practice and you would be better practicing this one so you can get stronger and eventually you will work your way up to doing harder poses. Hold this for three, two, one, and then shake it out. 
We are ready for our next 10 second challenge. This time I want you to bring your hands up and place them on your head. With me, ready? We're going to sit down for 10, 9, 8. Your bum can't touch the seat just yet. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, I couldn't find my chair there for a second. I got scared. Bring your hands down, shake them out, shake out the legs. Well done, everyone. You've worked very, very hard. So now we're going to do something called our take five breath. This is something that you can do in the classroom or at home whenever you feel you're a little bit stressed out or you're feeling a little bit worried. It's something you can do to just calm your mind, calm your body down, and then get ready to move on with the rest of your day with a positive mindset. So I want everyone to lift their right hand and put it out in front as if you're doing a high five. I know we don't do high fives right now because of the COVID rules, but we're going to pretend we're giving an imaginary high five just now. I'm going to come a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So we've got one hand up high and you're going to take your pointing finger of your other hand all the way to your pinky. When you're ready, take a big deep breath in and bring your hand up to the tip of your pinky finger. As you breathe out, I want you to slide it down. So it's almost like you're giving your fingers a little tickle. Take a big deep breath in, reach up, and then exhale down. Deep breath in, in through your nose, and out and down. Deep breath in, out and down. A big deep breath in, hold it at the top, and exhale. Bring your hands down onto your thighs, roll your shoulders back and down. Okay, everyone, can you close your eyes down for me? You might even want to tuck your chin a little bit if that feels good for your neck. And just take a wee moment to count your own breath. So every time you breathe in, I want you to say one in your head. When you breathe out, I want you to say the number two inside your head. So your lips are closed, we're breathing in through our nose, one, out through our nose, two. Just keep that going a few more times. In for one, out for two. Okay, this time I'm going to say an affirmation. An affirmation is just something that you say about yourself and the more you say it, the more you'll believe it. And then that can help you be more positive every single day. So when I say the next little sentence, I want you to repeat it back out loud in your class so we can see which classroom can say these affirmations the loudest. So when we're ready, you're going to say the first one, which is I am kind. Your turn, ready? One, two, three. Ready for our next one. Keep your eyes closed. You can tuck your chin down. If you don't want to say it out loud, you can say it inside your head. The next one we're going to say is, I am confident. Well done for saying that one. And the last one that I want you to say and really believe is, I am a good friend. Well done. Once you've said that last affirmation, I want you to just take a few more deep breaths in through your nose and out and down through your nose and think about how you can make those little statements come true for the rest of the day. So what you can do to be kind, what you can do to be confident and what you can do to be a good friend. Once you've had a wee think, take a big deep breath in, bring your hands up high above your head into prayer and then bring them down through the center line of your body all the way to your chest. Fold forward and everyone says together, Namaste. Well done for taking part everyone. Hope you have a lovely day and we will see you all soon for more yoga and virtual active skills. Bye everyone.